Performing a meridian flip is a necessity with astrophotography. The reason that we do it is to keep the mount from tracking an object so far that it ends up running into itself. With other programs, you might have to initiate the meridian flip manually, although most are automated, but with the ASIR Plus, it is completely automated. The only reason you might need to keep an eye on things is to make sure that no cables snag on anything. And when it comes to the ASIR Plus for meridian flipping, some questions have been brought up. Let's dive into the app real quick and go over a few of the settings. Now, once you're in the ASIR app, what you'll need to do is is go to the mount and then go to meridian flip settings and in here are the three different options that you can set for meridian flipping so the first question that comes up is about stop tracking x minutes before meridian so what this setting does is it basically looks at the north south line and figures out when the object is going to hit that line that's the meridian line and what it does is it stops the mount from guiding based on the number of minutes that you set in this setting now if you say stop it five minutes before it'll stop five minutes before the object hits meridian and then just wait after that five minutes is up, it should go, oh, okay, well, that object is there now. The other thing I wanna say about this setting is that it also looks at the exposure time. So say you're doing three minute shots. What it'll do is it'll look at that next shot and then look at the timer that it's set before the meridian flip. If that three minute shot is gonna impede on that five minute stoppage, it won't take the shot. It'll actually wait eight minutes and then move to the next setting. So keep that in mind. So in the next setting, the do AMF X minutes after Meridian, this is basically the other side of the line. What it's doing is it's waiting however many minutes you say to wait until that object passes the line. And then what it'll do is slew to the object, plate solve, make sure it's back wherever you set center at, and then keep going. That's all there is to that. So let's say that you set it to five minutes for both settings and you're doing three minute shots. What it'll do is it'll look at the length of your shot and then look at that little timer that you said to set for five minutes. If your three minute shot is going to overlap with the five minute stop, it won't take that frame. It'll just stop completely and wait the entire eight minutes. And then once it hits that point, it'll move to the second setting where it will wait for the object to move a little bit past the meridian just to guarantee that it did pass the meridian, then it'll flip and it will replate solve, find the object, make sure it's centered if you had a custom go-to setting. And then from there, it'll continue the program. All right, so I am out here taking advantage of a gap in some clouds to uh, do a quick shot on Andromeda. And the timing worked out well where Andromeda is going to flip. And if we look at the ASI Air app real quick, if you look down at the bottom there, it says that it's going to flip in about 22 minutes. So all we have to do is wait for that 22 minutes. And then around that time, that's when the settings will kick in. My settings, I have it set to five minutes in five minutes. So when it gets within that five minute window, what it'll do, like I said, is it will stop guiding. It actually keeps tracking, but it stops guiding. And then it'll wait an extra five minutes after Andromeda passes Meridian. And then then it will go ahead and flip. So let's skip ahead a little bit and uh, wait until that last few minutes right before it's about to flip. So we are less than eight minutes until Andromeda hits the meridian. So if we go back into the app and take a look, the timer says 7.36 or so. The way this will work is it'll give you a countdown to when the object hits a meridian. So with the way that it's all designed, when it hits the five minute mark, the guiding should stop. We'll go ahead and speed it up so you don't have to sit and watch all of this. All right, so it has went ahead because it's less than five minutes from the meridian. It went ahead and stopped the guiding whatsoever. It's just looping, it's not actually guiding. Now, if you can see down in the bottom right-hand corner, it says flipping in 557 seconds. So what this means is that it'll wait the five minutes for it to hit Meridian, and then it's gonna wait the five minutes after Meridian, then it'll flip. So we will just give it the time it needs to go ahead and flip, and uh, we'll speed through these uh, next 10 minutes. All right, and as the countdown gets to the 300 second mark, it is finishing up the first setting. These next 300 seconds are the second setting. So it has passed Meridian, but the ASI Air is just making sure that it is guaranteed to be past Meridian before actually flipping.
All right, and with 15 seconds left, all we have to do is watch and just make sure that no cable snag, just in case, you know, the power cable or anything gets caught on anything. Here we go. Looking good so far. And everything looks fine. No cables are gonna snag. All right. Two heater strap might've gotten caught on a lock, but that's okay. And it's done. So if we go back into the app, it's got a plate solve again to make sure it gets back on target. All right, it is centered. Now at this point, it'll settle and then it's gonna wait for the guiding to take back over. Once the guiding is working again, it'll go ahead and continue the frames. Now keep in mind that based on the numbers that you set for the before Meridian and after Meridian, you could end up with you know a 15 minute gap of time where it's not actually shooting, it's just waiting for the Meridian flip. So if you're confident that your mount isn't going to run into itself, definitely set it to a lower number. But from here, all we do is wait for the guiding to do its thing and then for it to just take over and keep shooting. Let's head back inside. Real quick, another tip here, this third setting, recalibrate guiding after AMF. Now this one isn't really necessary. It's really personal preference. If my guiding is really good, I don't bother. But if the sky is a little bit iffy, then maybe I'll tell it to recalibrate. But either way, after a flip is done and all looks good, you're done. Grab a pair of binoculars or a visual telescope and take a look around. Or if you had to work the next day, go ahead and go to bed. That's it, it's super simple. If you found this video helpful, please do like, comment, and then maybe consider subscribing. I wanna thank you for watching. Clear skies.